وَلِكُلِّ بِجْهَدٌ هُوَ مُوَلِّيهَا For every nation, for every community, every community, there is a direction towards, the, towards which they face. فَاسْتَبِقُ الْخَيْرَاتِ So, O oh Muslims, you why with each other in pursuing whatever is good? Oh, you should be after virtue. You should compete with each other towards virtues and charity and whatever is good. Wherever you will be, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather you. Jami'an, all of you. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful for everything. He can do whatever He likes. وَمِنْ حَيْسُ خَرَجْتَ فَمَنْ لِوَجْهَ قَشَّتْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ And from wherever you start for praying, for praying, intending to pray, you turn your face in the direction of the Masjid al-Haram. وَإِنَّهُ لَلْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُ you, you see here how it is being repeated. How many times it is being repeated. The emphasis being put on it. And in the, between the lines you can read what was the background. What was, you know, the scandal which was produced by the Jews. And the propaganda against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That can be very easily seen between the lines. وَمِنْ حَيْسُ خَرَجْتَ فَوَلْ لِوَجَكَ شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ from wherever you start, you begin, you want to pray, you stand to pray, turn your face towards the sacred mosque. And verily it is the truth, it is the real qibla from your Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what you are doing. See how it is being repeated. From wherever you stand for praying, turn your face towards this sacred mosque. And all of you, O Muslims, where from, wherever from you stand to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, turn your faces towards the sacred masjid. So that there should be no argument against you for the people. Except for those who are the unjust among them. Now what's the meaning of this part of this ayah? Because had not the Tibla changed, the knowledgeable persons who had the real knowledge among the Jews, they would have argued against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that if he was the real and the last prophet, he would have turned to the real and the ancient Tibla. If he has not done it, he is not the real prophet. That would have been the argument against you, o Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, had not the direction of this Tibla been changed. Now, whosoever is arguing against you, they are the unjust people, they are the illiterate people, they are the, the, those people who know nothing. So you don't care about them. Don't care for them. Don't have any fear of them. You should fear me. And this is, I have done this. I have changed this direction of this, this Qibla so that I should complete all the blessings on you. All the things, you know, they have to be completed. This deen of Allah is to be completed with you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for all times to come. So you have to do everything. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَحْتَدُونَ And so that you, O Muslims, you are on the right path, you are guided. And you reach the final destination of success. كَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا فِيكُمْ As we have now sent in you, now just recall that prayer of Ibrahim and Ismail when they were raising the walls of Kaaba. رَبَّنَا وَبَعَصْفِهِمْ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ يَتْلُوهَ لَيْمْ آيَاتِكَ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ إِنَّ كَالْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring this is actually the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is really the prayer of Ibrahim and Ismail which has taken this form the messengerhood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is in response to the prayer of, of Ibrahim and Ismail that we have sent our messenger Muhammad amongst you. Kama arsalna fikum rasulam minkum. And he is from amongst you, rasulam minkum. Yatlu alaykum ayatina. He is reciting unto you our ayat. Wa yuzakkikum. Purifying your souls. Wa yuallabakum al kitab wal hikmah. And teaching you the book as well as the wisdom. Wa yuallabakum alam takunu ta'lamun. And he is teaching you what you were not knowing before. Faskuruni askurkum. So you remember me. Always keep me in remembrance. 
azkurkum i will remember you washkuruni it's very beautiful you know the relationship between allah subhanahu wa taala and the abd the bondsman is bilateral first kuruni azkurkum you remember me i will remember you in tansurullah yansurkum if you help allah allah will help you there is in a hadith a very beautiful expression if you come towards allah walking allah will come towards you running if you come towards allah the amount of a hair allah will come to you uh, the, the amount of a the length of an arm if you remember allah in your heart allah will also remember you in his heart and if you mention allah in some gathering allah will mention you in a much higher a better gathering the gathering of the angels خدا خود محفیر محفل بود اندر لا مکان خسرو محمد شم محفل بود شب جائے کہ من بودم ان دیٹ محفل ان دیٹ گیدرنگ آف دی ملائکت المقربون اللہ منشنز دی پرسنز ہو منشن اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی ان سم گیدرنگز سو اس سے بائی نیٹرل ریلیشنشپ فسکرونی اسکرکو بشکرولی ولا تکفرو and be thankful to me be grateful to me and don't be ungrateful towards me Now here the first part of this surah al mubaraka ends. In this first part I told you the basic address was towards the former Muslim ummah. Either directly or indirectly. Although in the last portions there was mentioned, there was something said towards Muslims also. There was some mention, very trivial mention of the people of Makkah, of the pagan Arabs also. because you know the division in the quran you won't find that which is very hard and fast the two parts are interlocking with each other now the address is directly to the muslim ummah and please note before we proceed that this we can analyze that there are four threads of four subjects which are wound together just as you have in a rope so that they are interwoven with each other although all the threads are continuous but when you know you have two or three or four strands and you wind them and you make them in the rope if they are of different colors red and blue and green and white these colors will appear to be interrupted they will be not not continuous you will see the red color and then the green and then the white and then the blue and, and so on but you know if you open away and you separate the strands from one from other now you will find that all the strands are continuous So, what are those four strands? Number one, now the address to the Muslim Ummah about Sharia, and Sharia comprises of two parts: the ibadat, the modes of worship, and the muamalat, the affairs of the Muslim community. This is halal, this is haram, this is permissible, this is forbid, forbidden. In social affairs, especially in nikah and talaq, etc., etc., you find this thing is haram, sharab. about sharab and masr you do you know the all these commandments will start and the blueprint of the sharia of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be prepared within the second part of this surah al baqara so do two strands are of sharia one of ibadat saum and hajj they will be discussed salat will be discussed and number two of muamalat nikah and talaq and marriage and separation and divorce and so on and th- things eating which is permissible and things which are uh, forbidden to eat etc etc and the other two strands the two parts of jihad fi sabilillah infaq fi sabilillah qital fi sabilillah to spend your mal and this you know is the jihad bil mal jahidu fi sabilillah bi amwalikum wa anfusikum jihad with your property is your belongings this is infaq fi sabilillah then the jihad with your bodies the final stage is qital fi sabil illa going to war for the cause of allah so these four strands the ibadat the muamalat the infaq fi sabil illa and the jihad qital fi sabil illa they are interwoven with one each other and these will be some some issue will be discussed then the second will be taken then the third will be taken then the first will, might be again discussed then the second might be discussed so they are continuous but you know they are they will appear to be interrupted